talk a little bit about smaller animals like marmots and what kind of uh, how those animals would have been used by the sheep eaters and about how this terrain would support those animals? Um, the terrain right here, very rocky. Uh, we have the, <laughs> just a, a rubble field above us here, which is um, kind of broken up and eroded remnants of uh, flathead sandstone and underlain by uh, granite uplift. But it's all rocky and makes perfect habitat for marmots. Here we have yellow-bellied marmots, which was a, a, a favorite food of the Shoshone. And if, I suspect the mountain Shoshone would have used them also. Marmot fat was used for ceremonial purposes. It was preferred over other kinds of fat. Uh, I think it was probably collected and stored and rendered for uh, mixing with red ochre for ceremonial purposes. And the, the best, really the best elevation in the Wind River Mountains for marmot habitat is right here, between 10,500 and 11,500 feet. Especially the northern winds. In southern winds, you find a little bit different gra granite uh, 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 erosion without the flathead sandstone. So this really makes for the kind of cover that you find marmots using a lot. They've, they've de decreased over the last 15 years, so we don't see as many marmots as we used to. 15 years ago, you'd be hearing marmots calling out at this time of year all over. But now you don't. They've decreased a lot, and we don't really know why for sure. Pikas have also decreased, and bighorn sheep are also decreasing. There's some indication that this is a widespread phenomenon that may have something to do with our atmosphere. At any rate, there are still marmots here. Uh, 15 years ago, and probably going back thousands of years, this would have been ideal marmot habitat. And we know the Shoshone actually came up here to hunt them. So the sheep eaters probably hunted them as a food source and as a source of uh, fat for different purposes. For those that are unfamiliar with the marmot, you just want to describe it physically and how much meat you would have gotten off it? And... A marmot is, uh, up in this elevation, actually the higher they get, the, the more robust they get. Is, uh, at this elevation, a marmot is almost a raccoon-sized animal in the range of uh, 10, uh, 12 pounds. They have a lot of fat on them because they have to live in a very adverse uh, climate that can change overnight from a nice warm condition we have today in the temperatures in the 60s to uh, temperatures well below freezing at night even in the summertime. So they have a big fat layer on them and when they run you can see them just uh, jiggling with fat. They have a thick fur, they're a rodent, and uh, very easy to hunt actually because they, although they can run fairly fast, they like to sit around on rocks and lay out in the sun to accumulate heat. So if you sit patiently watching long enough, you'll see a marmot crawl out of a hole under this flathead sandstone, get up on a rock, and you can take aim and have all the time in the world to shoot this thing. Very easy to hunt, but a tremendous source of meat and fat and hide. What about pikas? Were there any, do you know any use for pika? Well, I don't know of any use for pika. They were extremely common, you know, biomass-wise. They probably would have uh, outdone the marmots up in this elevation for just uh, pounds per acre. But they're on the decline now. They're uh, thought to be an indicator of global warming. They might be an indicator of selenium deficiency. We find that uh, they are disappearing, particularly in places where selenium is decreasing in the forage. So that's a possibility. Uh, 
very few pikas around anymore. But prior to that and going back into ancient times, they would have been extremely common uh, mammal up here, although small, about the size of a pack rat or a, or a vole, a large alpine vole, uh, less than a pound. But although they were very common, they're very fast and they don't sit around for very long. They have a high metabolism, hard to hunt.